So the next problem, this is also from the normal distribution. See, on reading the question, we can see that it's coming from your normal distribution path. The mean weight of 500 male students in a certain college is 151 pounds and standard deviation is 15. Assuming that the weights are normally distributed, find how many students weigh between 120 and 155 pounds, more than 155, 85 pounds. This is comes under the application path. So using the applications, okay, application path. That is also it is given in your problem, the area of the, the probability of the area is also given. For z equals to 2.06, the area is 0 0.4803 and 0 0.2667, 0 0.1026 and 2.267 will get 0 0.4881. So therefore, please listen, first one at the stake, your mean is equals to 151, that is your mu is equals to 151. The second one, the standard deviation, sigma is equals to 15 and the total number of students is equals to male students is equals to 500. The first question I have to find out is, we have to find that xp the random variable denoting the number of students weighing weights. So 120 and 155 pounds, therefore I will take your p of x, that is p of 120 less than x less than 155. Now I am going to find out the z value, that is z1, which is equal to, I can write this as p of z1 is less than z, less than z2. Let us find out z1. Your z1 is equals to x1 minus mu divided by sigma. What is x1? The first value 120 minus mu. It is given standard 151 divided by sigma which is equals to 15. Therefore, we will have minus 31 divided by 15 which will give you 2.067 minus 2.067. Next one let us find out your z2. Your x2 is equals to 155 minus 151 divided by 15 which is equals to 4 by 15 which is equals to 0 0.2667. Now I am going to find out your probability of 0 point minus 2.067 less than z less than 0 0.2667. So therefore by the normal curve, normal distribution, let us draw a well shaped diagram. It is given that your x is equals to 120 and x is equals to 115. We have found that z1 is equals to minus z1 is equals to minus 2.067 and your z2 is equals to 0 0.2667. So let us here we have z2 and here we will have z1. Let us draw a line. So now we are going to find out the area between these two things area between this thing. Here it is minus infinity, here it is plus infinity, here we will have 0. Now you are going to find out the area between minus 2.067 to 0 0.2667. You can write in words, therefore, first part from here to 0 we can find the area it is given and here to area we can able to find out the area. Therefore, you can say this, area between, area between, z is equals to 0 to z is equals to minus 2.2667. 067 plus area between plus area between z is equals to 0 to z is equals to 0 0.2667. It is given that if it is 0 of the area from 0 z equal to 0 to 2.067, the value given in your problem which is equals to 0, whether it is negative or positive, we want only the value of the area, this is equals to 0 0.4803 plus 0 to 0 0.2667 which is equals to 0 0.1026, which is equal to when adding with this 2, 2, 9, 8, and 4 plus 1, which is equals to 5, we will have 0 0.5829. So now it is given that we have 500 students are there. Now I am going to find out, out of 500 students, the out of uh, 500 students, the number of students, the number of students, whose weight, whose weight is between, what, between 120 and 155 pounds is, already we found out the probability 0 0.5829 into multiplied by 500, so which is equals to, we will get 291 students, therefore, 
the number of students whose weight is between 120 and 155 pounds is 291 students. This is the first part of the question. So the weights between, so we have found out that the number of students weighs between 120 and 155 is equal to 291 students using the normal distribution. Second one, you have to find out that more than 185 students, 185 pounds. Now the second question, you are going to find out the number of students more than 185 pounds. More than 185 pounds. So see, listen here, we have to find out the second question here is, P of X is greater than 185, which means your Z is greater than Z1, that is we are going to find out the Z value, Z is greater than, therefore let us find out your Z is equals to X minus, that is 185 minus mu 151 divided by sigma, which is equals to 15, therefore we will have 4, 3, 34 by 15, which is equals to 2.2667. Therefore, I want to point out 2.2667. 2.62667. Now, let us find it, draw the diagram. So, therefore, we will have, so here which is equals to minus infinity plus infinity. Here it is given, your z is equals to 2.2667. So, now I am going to find out the area greater than this part. Okay, so now this is your zero bill shape structure. Therefore, I am going to find out the area greater than 2.667, which means that from zero to infinity we know the area. The total area of the normal curve is 1. The total area of zero to infinity is 0.5 and zero to minus infinity is also 0.5. Therefore, I can write this as area from zero to infinity subtracted from zero to 2.667. Therefore, area between z is equals to 0 to z equals to infinity minus area between z is equals to 0 to z is equals to 2.2667. Now the area between z equal to 0 is 0 0.5 minus z to 2.667 it is given in your problem 4881 which is equals to we have 9 and then we will have 1 and then we will have 1, therefore 119, that is equal to, we will get 0 0.0119, so we will get 0 0.0119, so now out of 500 students whose weight, whose, whose weight is greater than 185 pounds is equal to, out of 500 students, out of 500 students whose weight is, whose weight is more than more than 185 pounds is equals to 0 0.0119 into 500 which is equals to 9 to 6 students which is equals to 6 students. So this is the second part of the question. The first part of the question we have found out that the number of students weigh between 120 and 155 pounds and the next question more than 155 pounds. This is the way to find out. First thing we have found out the area from 0 to 2.067 plus area from z equals to 0 to 0 0.267. In the second part is greater than it is given 2.67, z is greater than 2.2667 which means that we have to find out from here to here therefore from 0 to infinity we know that area is 0 0.5 and also from 0 to 2.2667 the area is given subtracting will give, the, give you the answer therefore the number of students where weight is more than whose weight is more than 185 pounds is equals to 6 students. Okay, this is all about the second problem in normal distribution. Let us then go for the next problem. One more problem in 10 marks question. So last two problems from normal distribution. Now we are going, going to discuss about the problem in Poisson distribution which is also one of the very important 10 marks.